my lovely subscribers. So today I'm here doing a haul video for you. So basically I have a lot of really fun like springy summery clothes which I actually have a lot of now because I live in LA but I have a lot of fun things that I wanted to show you guys so I'm just gonna get right into it. Hopefully the lighting's okay. It's kind of hard for me to film in my room because nothing really is aesthetically pleasing behind me. I mean my desk is like mediocre but the window's right there so the light kind of hits this side of my face. If it's like annoying or I look weird I'm sorry, it's like the best I can do. Also before I get into showing you the clothes, I post a lot of outfit photos or photos of me styling like clothing and stuff on my Instagram, so I would absolutely love if you guys would go and follow me. I always post on Instagram, it's like my favorite social media website, other than YouTube of course, but um, it's Fiercely Tasha, I'll put like my name right here. But if you guys would go follow me, that would be awesome, you guys can like keep up to date on my life and stuff. Okay, the first clothing store I'm going to show you pieces from is called 2020 Ab. It's an online boutique and I really really like it because it's super affordable and they have really cute pieces that are really trendy. I noticed with their website that a lot of things had different styles as you'll be seeing from like what I got so I think a lot of people would like it and it's so cheap and affordable everything's really cute and there's tons of different vibes. <laughs> so the first thing I got is this really cute just white crochet tank. I think this would be perfect for Coachella. Uh, it's really cute with like some ripped up boyfriend jeans or even like cute little flowy shorts. Just really really cute, super versatile, very boho, just something that I would wear all the time. So it's just really cute. I feel like they had this in another color as well. The next thing from 2020 Ab is a romper, but it actually looks like a dress. I swear it's a romper, but it's a dress. <laughs> it's black and it has these pinky red flowers on it and then it goes down. And you can't really see the shorts, it kind of looks like a shift dress, but they're shorts which I think has a really cute touch. It has a nice v-neck in the front as well as the back, which is like one of my favorite things. I think that's really flattering and pretty. And I think this will look really cute with some like black heeled booties. So cute, you could dress this up or down and I love it. The next thing from 2020 Ave is a pair of jeans. And I wore these on St. Patrick's Day because they're green. Let me zip them up. They were actually very long when I got them, so I cut the bottoms, which normally that might sound weird, but that's kind of trendy now for like pants to have raw bottoms, oops, or like raw hem. So pretty much they're these olive green jeans, jeggings, but the reason I like them is they have tons of rips in them, and you'll see better when I show you what these look like on, but they're just so cool, so destroyed, and then I cut them to be like ankle length. Uh, they have a ton of different colors of these online, but they're high rise, super cool, I am obsessed with these. Next thing from 2020 Ab is this really cool tank. It's just kind of like your waffle knit, like thermal material. It's this really pretty, like robin's egg blue, Tiffany blue kind of color. My hair is on it. Uh, it's just really long and loose. I feel like this is more of a tunicky shirt, quite tunicky, but it's really comfy. This is like a bralette and just some leggings or some jeans to class. It's perfect. Very soft, very casual, and I love it. The last thing from 2020 Ab I'm actually so excited about because this shirt is. So me. So basically it's a graphic tee, which I don't normally wear a lot of, but I've been getting more into them. So it says, oops, <laughs> I have mixed drinks about feelings. <gasps> I love this shirt so much. Not saying anything about mixed drinks, but in terms of feelings, like, girl who needs feelings, I'm, I'm kind of joking. Kind of. 2020 Ave is actually doing a giveaway with me and you and basically all you have to do is click on the link I'll put it in the description and you just like enter your email address and stuff and you're entered to win a hundred dollar gift card so if you do that and you follow me on Instagram and obviously subscribe then you're entered for a chance to win a hundred dollars to that website which everything is so cute so why would you not enter okay so moving on I bought a ton of stuff from this store so it's called Irene story and I was wearing a dress from there in my last outfit of the week. So if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. But basically, I'm obsessed with it. Um, I thought it was only like one store in LA because there's a store in Marina Del Rey, which is really close to my school. And everything was so cute. And I thought it was gonna be expensive when I went in and then it wasn't, so I'm obsessed. And then I found out they have an online store, so I did even more damage, but honestly, like this is my style. It's super boho and laid back and like, trendy but cute and cheap so I love it definitely check it out this is not like sponsored or anything I just seriously like love them so the first thing I got um, 
I actually saw a friend's friend wearing and I'm obsessed so I got it because I saw it on their website. It is this pink and white pattern dress. It's super low cut um, but I have no boobs so this will not be an issue. Um, and then it just kind of like flows. I don't know. This is like so cute and boho and I love it. The next thing I got is oddly enough a pair of like sweatpants. This is like the only time I will ever buy sweatpants. I don't know why I thought they were so cute, but they're pretty much just like this black and gray, like marled kind of print. And they're like skinny sweatpants, so they're like kind of tight, but not too tight. I've been really into tie-dye lately. My other dress from there that was in my outfit of the week was tie-dye. So I saw this shirt online and I really liked it. I don't know why. Is tie-dye trendy or am I just weird? But. It's this very oversized shirt and it just has this like blue and gray tie-dye print. The edges are like raw hem. I don't know if that's the word for it, but whatever. There's like a slit in the side of the shirt, which I think is really cute, like a little bit high-low. And then it's just like really oversized. It can go off the shoulder with a bralette. And I've worn this a few times already. Love it. I wore this dress the other day and a bird pooped on me. So hopefully I got all the bird poop off of it before I'm showing it to you now. <laughs> Uh, if I can, okay, so it's this blue and white floral dress, and then it kind of like stripes at the bottom with like more florals, really, really cute, and then I love the back of it, um, the straps like cross, which I love dresses with cute back detailing, so I love this dress so much, hopefully a bird will not poop on me next time I wear it. Second to last thing from Irene's story I got in store, and it's this really cute, like, casual romper. So it's basically like this kind of soft t-shirt material, uh, really deep V, but I wear like a bralette with it, and stripes, and then like a little ruffle on the bottom. This is so comfortable, but it's so cute. I was wearing like a maroon bralette, and it looked really cute. Once again, I don't have boobs, so I can get away with it. The last thing I got, is really cute. I was gonna wear it on Easter, but I ended up not dressing nice for Easter. Um, it's this pastel dress, and I apologize, the back is supposed to be tied cool, but like I can't really figure it out. Um, anyway, so it looks like this. It has this really dainty, like pastel floral print, and then it goes down, and the back is really cool. I just untied it, because it looked kind of funky, and now I like don't know how to tie it again. But if you can figure it out, Basically it has like two straps on each side and I think you're just supposed to tie a bow in the back so it's like an open back with like a tie. Um, at least that's what I think. I like this. This will make me look really really tan and I just thought it was cute and easy with like brown sandals or something so I couldn't resist this. I almost forgot I have two pairs of shoes to show you. These are from Zushu.com which is a website that sells a bunch of different brands of shoes like Steve Madden, Sam Edelman. Chinese laundry, etc. So I apologize that these are dirty, but I've been wearing them a ton. They're these Steve Madden brown sandals. I don't remember the exact name, but I'll link them down below. Really cute. A lot of people are probably going to call them Jesus sandals because somehow whenever I pick out brown sandals, all of you guys call them Jesus sandals. <laughs> um, not trying to be offensive if that offends anyone. But they're just brown sandals. Really cute. Go with everything. So I wear them all the time at school. And then this next pair is from Chinese Laundry, and I think they're really cute. They just don't fit me, and it's weird because they're not too small, like, foot-wise. But my foot, like, doesn't fit in them, like, width-wise. And I have a very narrow foot, so I don't know if it's, like, the style of the shoes or what. But basically, they're kind of, like, sandals with, like, a little chunky heel. I don't think I'd really consider these heels. I guess they kind of are. I don't know. But they're really, really cute. They just don't fit my foot right. They hurt really bad. So I'll probably like sell these on Poshmark or Mercari or something. I'll put my invite codes as well as um, my profiles down below. They're basically websites you can sell your clothes on. And if you use my codes, I think on Poshmark you get $10 when you sign up with my code. And Mercari you get 2 So free money, ladies and gents. Am I right? Anyways, I believe this is the end of the haul video. Please leave a comment down below. If you are watching this right now, leave a comment because I love reading comments. Once again, I would totally appreciate it if you followed me on social media because I love you guys and I want you guys to be able to keep up with my life because I'm not always posting videos, unfortunately. I am very busy with college, so you guys can kind of keep up with me on there. I have Instagram and Twitter 
and I also have Snapchat if you want to view my stories. So I'm going to put all those down below, also in this general area. If you're interested in anything I got, I'm going to try to link the majority in the down bar. I love you guys so much and thanks for watching. Bye!